I like to see technology also from the lens of sports. So I see 5G deployment as like a cricket test match, which is played over two innings. The first inning was much more about coverage and speed. And the second innings is going to be much more about user experience and monetization. So in order to get there, we need to be in the path of the consumers. Let's think about it as an example. You're driving on the highway, you need to take a stop. You stop at a gas station, you go to the restroom, you come out of it, and you see this brightly lit aisle with, with coffee, with snacks, with, with cold drinks, and you don't even realize by the end of it, you have all these items in your hand. Gas stations have made it possible to convert a functional stop into an in-moment purchase. And this is a great example of how we can take this in the telecom sector, of how we can turn functional connectivity into this micro monetization opportunity in the area of offering high performance connectivity, whether you are at the airport, while you're roaming, or even your daily commute. So let's think about uh, the airport. And, and mind you, airports are one of the most stressful places on earth. Let's think about the security queue. You know, you land at the airport and you find that it's a mile long security queue where everybody has been lumped together. But then there are passengers who have a short connection, passengers who are traveling with families, passengers with accessibility issues. What if there could have been separate queues uh, in order to ensure that we are able to get people from point A to point B, everybody catches their flights on time, uh, and we are able to tailor this sort of user experience at the, at the airport. This is exactly the parallel that we want in telecom, is to create these sort of tailored experiences for applications, for different consumer segments in the market, segments in the market that essentially require not just the best effort connectivity, but a premium user experience. We already are starting to see that network slicing has come out of the lab into the real world. We see service providers now offering network slicing capabilities and tailored user experiences to end consumers, whether you think about gaming, video calling, generative AI experiences and so forth. And I feel this is, this is a big shift from where we were two years back with selling uh, best effort connectivity to now actually seeing network slicing and the capabilities being made available to consumers. So when we think about the future of 5G, I think about three A's. Augmented reality, artificial intelligence, and APIs. And I believe the intersection of these three technologies is going to be fundamental, uh, changing the sh shift from a focus from just enhanced mobile broadband uh, driven by volumes of data, best effort connectivity, to now quality. And the success essentially in terms of leveraging these three opportunities is going to lie in terms of how proactive you are. The more proactive you are, the bigger the game.